involvement of children as active and effective participants and rather than mere object of the educational process. So, of course, kinakailangan natin sabihin sa kanya na uh, uh, pag ginawa mo isang bagay na to, pag pumasok ka, uh, hindi dahil uh, dahil inoodyo ka namin gawin ito. So, you must be an active and effective participant na wala kang iniisip na uh, uh, ay, kailangan kong gawin to dahil sabi ni ma'am, sabi ni sir, o kaya sabi ni Nino man. So, kaya na kailangan nilang maging uh, fully uh, aware o kaya uh, uh, sila mismo ang gagawa nun para hindi masyadong, hindi brutal sa kanila. Halimbawa kasi may mga bata na uh, magiging psychologically disturbed pag uh, pagparating inuutusan. Halimbawa, gawin mo to, gawin mo yun kapag ganito. Kaya kailangan, hayaan natin silang uh, pumasok sa isang bagay na gusto nila. Okay. Undertaking activities that foster a sense of identity with and of belonging to the school and community. So, halimbawa, uh, mayroong mga clubs sa school, of course, uh, tapos, uh, dun sa mga programs, so, kailangan natin silang i-participate if ever na gusto naman nila. Okay. Encouragement of young person to understand and respect if uh, respect diverse views and opinions as well as cultural and other differences. Of course, kinakailangan natin ipaintindi sa kanila na magkaiba-iba man ang lingwahe, ang kultura, ugali ng bawat isa, yung nakagisnan. So, kinakailangan natin i-respect yun. Dahil hindi dapat, hindi naman, hindi maging hadlang yun para uh, maging uh, peaceful ang environment na kin uh, kinalalagyan nila. So, kinakailangan natin uh, halimbawa, Muslim, Christian, Lumad, so kinakailangan natin silang ipaintindi na ito ang pagkakaiba ng kultura nila at saka ng mga differences sa religion, for example, so dapat yan ipinapaunawa sa bata. Provision of information and guidance regarding vocational training, employment opportunities, and career development. So meron tayong TESDA, if ever they wanted to be, uh, to be part of the TESDA. Employment opportunities, of course, if uh, they can. Uh, so, why not? Bakit natin sila uh, i-hire o kaya bigyan ng pagkakataon i-proving sarili nila? So, provision of positive emotional support to children and avoidance of psychological maltreatment. So, kinakailangan uh, sabi parati silang sinasabihan ng magagandang words o kaya magagandang encouragement sa buhay, as aspirations nila, inspiration. So, they cannot be psychologically uh, maltreated. So, prohibition of harsh disciplinary measures, particularly corporal punishment. So, yung pag uh, abuse, pa ulit ulit na pag bubuli, halimbawa, magsasabi sa bata, tapos uh, pinapagalitan mo parate, o kaya pinapalo, kung ano pa man yan. So, it must be prohibited. So, seek to work together with parents, community organizations, and agencies concerned with the activities of children, of course, to for them to have the uh, time, ang sabi nila, uh, uh, to to feel how they are be they are important. Kung para maramdaman nila importante sila sa mga mahal na sa buhay o kaya yung sinung nangangalaga sa kanila o kaya yung agency na kinalagyan nila, so they must be give they must uh, be given a chance to work uh, uh, with them. Halimbawa. Uh, isali sila dun sa uh, bagay na gusto nilang mangyari para uh, at the end of the day is uh, uh, at the end of the day is magamit nila yon uh, mga bagay na yon na ginagawa ng matatanda halimbawa na makakabuti sa kanila so extend particular care and attention attention at to children at rec specialized specialized prevention Programs and educational materials, curricula, approaches, and tools should be developed and fully utilized. So, nandito na sa educational system. So, yung kung, pa, kung ano yung mga uh, instill, kung ano yung mga bagay na ituturo ng isang agency, so, o kaya ng school, so, uh, kinakailangan inaayos para hindi sila mapag-iwanan. So, we have this uh, mass media. The mass media shall play an active role in the promotion of ch child's rights and delinquency prevention by relaying consistent message through a balanced approach. Media practitioners shall therefore have the duty to maintain the highest critical professional standard. Of course, ang sabi natin kapag ang bata is involved sa isang krimen, so they must uh, be respected and they, uh, their identity 
must not be divulged. So, hindi dapat natin sabihin sa madla, e eh, pakita ang kanyang muka, for example, uh, pero yung detail lang yung pwede natin sabihin, pero uh, yung kabuan na pagkatao ng tao, ng bata, o appearance niya, kung ano sino siya, so, it must be uh, prohibited uh, to divulge those information. So, so, sabi natin, disclose the identification of the relative to the child to maintain confidentiality and privacy if ever na ang bata nyo is involved in drugs, involved in uh, murder or homicide, for example. So, they have uh, they have the right to be respected based on the uh, 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 RA 9344 uh, and so on and so forth. So, yan, yung uh, right ng bata na dapat sa mass media is uh, gina retain the mass media shall also be encouraged so ano yun so the children have access to information and material from a diversity of national international resources sources or to portray the positive contribution of children to society to disseminate information on the existence of services facilities and opportunities for children in society so these are the television the radio the newspa newspapers uh all all important materials uh, readable or uh, not halimbawa mga posters uh, so uh, makakatulong yun sa bata so i think that's all i am hoping that everyone is uh, viewing this uh, video presentation that i that i am making kung mapapansin niyo so i uh, as much as possible i am um, exerting efforts to deliver as the my the existence of my work to give you a service as your instructor in this uh, subject which is uh, juvenile delinquency and uh, ju juvenile justice system so i am hoping na uh, may natutunan kayo tapos nag-aaral kayo ng maayos because alam ko lahat kayo gusto maging police kung hindi man makapasa ng board exam lang so uh, kahit na maliit lang so mag-aral tayo huwag natin sayangin yung oras although we are still under uh, uh, still uh, under COVID-19 pandemic so hindi tayo mga layang nakakalabas wala tayong face to face so uh, sa social media lang tayo nakikita kita so sa pamamarang ito baka, baka sana may matutunan kayo so if you have any question, uh, queries, suggestions, or uh, remarks na gustong sabihin sa akin, please uh, do comment down on this uh, video so so you, you can be answered. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nilagay ko sa YouTube, uh, matagal na, almost one year na, na lahat ng subject ko is kinapost ko sa ano. Kasi nga walang tumitingin. So, if ever na sa YouTube baka doon may magtingin kasi nga uh, uh, masisigurado ko na may magtitingin dahil uh, makikita ko kung sinong nag-view dito for example, um, pag na-view mo to ikaw yung estudyente ko ma-view mo to, magsulat ka ng pangalan dun sa comment section so, uh, nasa yun na yun kung magko-comment ka lang na hindi mo pinanood basta ang importante is uh, makikita ko na may nagbasa uh, especially sa inyo I think more uh, almost 80 kayo pero ngayon nasa ano ko lang is 60 60 students so I am hoping na hindi kayo susulpot sa final tapos sabihin yung ganito ganito because hindi ho ako nagmamagic ng grades I am pagilay na ko wala uh, nagbibigay ako ng grades na maganda dun sa uh, students na nar nararapat lamang nabigyan ng magandang grado so, anihin ko yung uh, 96 for example. Uh, nung man, anihin ko yung kung ibabagsak ko kayo. Pero, pinakailangan may gawin kayo para ma mabigyan ng magandang grado. So, uh, paulit-ulit na. Pagod na ako magsalita. So, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, naway lahat tayo is nasa mabuting kalagayan. Mabuting uh, maayos ang ating uh, pamumuhay. Uh, tapos, mawala na itong COVID na sinasabi nila. Sinasabi natin. So, para makapag-aral tayo ng maayos at saka mga kami magawa rin namin yung trabaho namin ng maayos. Maraming maraming salamat at uh, magandang araw.